Hey, Joel McDonald, author of Google AdWords for Dummies, and today we're going to talk about efficient advertising on Google. There's a famous quote by John Wanamaker, and it is, half the money I spend on advertising is wasted. The problem is, I don't know which half. Now, if you know anything about John Wanamaker, you know that he is a pioneer of marketing and a pioneer of advertising, famous back in the 1800s. However, that quote is even more relevant for Google. 90% of the accounts I help people out with, they're wasting money. The problem is they don't know where they're wasting it. So today we're going to talk a little bit about that and show you some examples. So let's first talk about a case study of an account I just took over last month, a little over a month ago, it was about 40 days ago. And it was an e-commerce store. They approached me because they have really high average order values, uh, they're about $2,000 to $2,500. However, they were only making about five sales per month with Google, mostly because they were spending all they could afford to spend in their online advertising budget, and five sales was about the best they had done. The problem is, they were wasting a lot of their advertising dollars. And unlike a lot of other ad advertising channels, with Google, it's really, really easy to see where you're wasting money and where you're not. So let's take a further look into this case study. So in the 30 days prior to me taking over their account, they were spending $10,449. They had 72,000 clicks. They had made six sales that month, and their cost per sale was about $1,500. Not bad, but because they were spending so much per sale, they couldn't justify spending any more in their advertising. They could get more sales, but since they were spending so much, that made their margins so skinny, they couldn't justify spending any more than about 10 grand a month. So the first thing I did was look at all of the channels that they were advertising on, and I told them that about 75% of the traffic they were generating was wasted traffic, and it wasn't worth spending money on. So the results of that were that we had spent $7,000 in the, month, the first month after I took over. We reduced the clicks to about 18,000. Now, at first, they were really worried about that because their traffic had plummeted. But as you can see, we saw almost immediately that within the first week, we had as many sales as they had the entire prior month because we were spending money on the right traffic that is a lot more likely to convert. And the result of that overall was that we reduced their cost per sale to about $150. So a 90% decrease in the cost per sale and nearly a tenfold increase in about a ninefold increase in their actual sales so now they're a lot more comfortable they got a lot healthier margins and we can go out and spend a lot more and I've been given permission to double the budget this next coming month so that we can see how many more sales we can get now that we've got our advertising channels fine-tuned to only the ones that work the best for them so let's talk about these advertising channels and just for visual demonstration, here is a visual graph of what happened. So as you can see, in the 30 days prior to me taking over, they, the blue line here is all of the clicks that they were generating on a daily basis. And these one, two, three, four, five, six spikes were the sales that they had generated. The first thing I did as soon as I took over was look at all of the advertising channels that they were using that weren't working and we cut those out so we immediately cut that traffic way way down but on a daily basis we could see spikes in conversions we got a lot more conversions on a daily basis so with time we'll start to see more of these orange spikes which represent sales we will probably start to see more traffic because we now know what traffic is working we can start to increase budgets for that traffic and then of course see an increase in sales as well but the key here is taking advantage of Google's very accurate tracking tools and knowing which channels are working and which ones aren't so let's talk about that 